Welcome, welcome. Once again, I'm the Fish, and I'm here to bring you guys another awesome StarCraft II cast. This is going to be another game out of our Liquid Chef replay pack. His opponent today is going to be ATN Dark Force. Spawning in the bottom left-hand corner is the Blue Zerg, and in the top right we're going to have Liquid Chef as the Purple Zerg. Now, Chef is an American Zerg player, plays for Team Liquid, one of the best uh, American Zerg players out there right now. And uh, Dark Force is one of the best German Zerg players. He's uh, placed for Team Alternate, and he's been uh, an increasing presence in many of the tournaments over in Europe. So I'll be interested to see this game. Should be very fun. Uh, now the map's going to be Cloud Kingdom, and it's going to be a ZVZ. Anything is kind of possible in ZVZ in general, but on this map, uh, Zergs tend to kind of like to try and go for this uh, expansion uh, rather early, which uh, I find is kind of... Uh, interesting because the, the rush distances on this map are actually kind of short and it's actually it's not that easy to defend although you do have a nice choke and you do see zerg players make a wall sometimes here uh, in uh, in certain matchups so we'll have to see what both these players trying to do and whoa already something interesting here from Sheth he's going for a uh, looks like a nine pool doubles double extractor trick and he's gonna pop an overlord here uh, no, he's, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna have an overlord popping out right at the same time uh, as a spawning pool, more or less. And, uh, he's gonna probably be rushing for, uh, a three, three zergling push. We'll see what he, he actually does here. And, yep, six zerglings in the queue. Chef actually op opting to do a drone scout, uh, which is one of those things. And, oh boy. Dark Force is actually going for a, a hatchery here, though. He does have his pool. He does have his pool down, but his link speed is going to be greatly delayed. Uh, so Sheth is going to be able to maybe do some damage here, maybe even deny this base or get some drone kills. We'll have to see what he's able to do. Now, of course, this is ZVZ, so these overlords uh, will be able to spot these. So that'll be interesting to see how Dark Force decides to react to this. So what is he going to do? Is he going to throw down some zerglings? He's going to continue to make overlords and drones, it looks like. He's actually at 18 out of 18 supply, so uh, he could throw down a spine call on his main, which might be advisable, but it looks like he's just going to play it cool. No big deal. He's going to let these zerglings wail on his natural for a little bit and while he produces four zerglings to try and deal with this. Two now coming in. And Chef is going to be dealing them with them. Oh, wow, nice zergling micro there, huh? Jeez. Eight Zerglings now out for Sheth while he continues to try and focus down this hatchery. Looks like Dark Force is going to have to cancel. He will lose that drone, and then Sheth's going to probably try and move into his main, but at this point, uh, not much Sheth can really do. There are six Zerglings out, and the Queen, so that's going to really prevent. I'm going to pick off a few Zerglings and then run back home. But that is a nice little bit of a lead for Sheth. He's uh, got a four supply lead, which is actually pretty big. And let's check the Harvester count. He's up by five drones, so. When you're up, anytime you're up by five drones in ZVZ, you're doing pretty good. Uh, and uh, openings like that one are are not all in. I mean, there it, it's like even if you mess up the nine pool, you still have a chance of getting back because if, if Sheth that didn't work for Sheth, he would have probably been down by four drones, uh, maybe three three to four drones. Uh, but in this case, it worked, and he was able to get up by five. So nice little trade. And we see the baneling nest going down for both players at almost the exact same time. Dark Force trying to get this uh, expansion up again, but Sheth is not showing any signs. Ah, there it is. He does actually want to get that uh, expo out. So, Sheth and Dark Force uh, both going for the expo and the Ling Baneling. So we're going to be able to probably see some nice Ling Baneling action. Sheth moving back across the map with six more Zerglings. Uh, it always makes sense to try and be hyper aggressive in Zerg versus Zerg. So, Sheth uh, is going to move in here. Dark Force is again supply blocked. So, it can be tough, but his speed just finishes, and uh-oh, looks like Chef's probably going to lose all these Zerglings. Yeah, they're going to have to stand and fight, but they're not going to stand a chance. They're going to get killed off here. So, that's one of those things that's difficult. Chef's speed was just delayed by 5 or 10 seconds, and because of that, he, he trades a bunch of Zerglings, and suddenly Dark Force is, is right back into this. Now, Chef, though, does have his own Zerglings, and he's even morphing in two Banelings to defend this. So, he's going to be looking pretty good, but... Overall, I think th things have evened up slightly with Sheth still ahead. Dark Force's expansion is going to be up. 
And Sheth needs to be careful running up this ramp here because he doesn't know if there are banelings waiting for him. And Sheth now trying to morph three banelings. Uh, Dark Force does have a superior number of Zerglings, and Sheth's going to have to back out here once again and lose a couple Zerglings in the process. Back at home, Dark Force has two defensive banelings and a spine crawler. And oh no, watch out, Chef! Gonna have to be careful there. And now Ling Baneling Micro is gonna be tough. Sploosh! Yeah, always very tense, always very nerve-wracking in these situations. Uh, when there's nothing but Lings and Banelings. So back at home. We see both players continuing to drone up, making a few defensive banelings here and there. The good thing about the Ling Banely composition is that uh, you can defend uh, you can defend your opponents uh, pretty easily with just a couple banelings if you have good micro. Of course, not everybody has really good micro, but these two guys do. And oh, watch out, Chef! Sending in one Zergling to try and sacrifice itself to take out the baneling, ends up getting killed. Dark Force morphing in a couple more. Uh, and look at that spot on that overlord. You can actually move it, uh, you can move it right here, and you'll see players do this a lot, but now that you can spot with other, other overlords, you can see it and have your queens try and take it out. So you have these little wars of players trying to take each other's queens out, and now Sheth's trying to move in. Two more banelings, though, are going to be waiting for him. And Sheth has his own overlord here, so, and oh, is, is Sheth watching this? Oh, watch out, Sheth, get out of there. Actually, uh, that working out kind of well for Sheth. Whoa! I was going to say that worked out kind of well for Sheth, but... And he almost got exploded by a bunch of banelings here. And oh my goodness! Sheth continuing to prod and poke away here. He's trying to buy time for him to get some roaches out. And he will, in fact, see this third base coming up for Dark Force. So now we do see some interesting stuff on the production tab. We see that... Um, Sheth has gone down the roach path. He's going for roaches with plus one. He should have a few of his own roaches out now. He's got his own banelings out, and he's trying to get some kills with them. And that was a nice little detonation there. He managed to pick up a few uh, kills. But uh, Dark Force is working on a spire. The spire is coming down for Dark Force. There it is. And uh, once that is out, uh, as you guys can imagine... Oh, Sheth, watch out! Using a few zerglings there, and this aggression is going to be thwarted. But uh, if you guys can imagine... The thing about Muta versus Roach is that Mutas obviously are better than Roaches in that uh, Roaches can't shoot up. But Roaches take a very long time to kill, so even if you do have Mutas, uh, they can sometimes win the base race. A lot of times a, a mass Roach army just wins a base race scenario. So Sheth is going to be moving out here with all of these Roaches, going to be moving across the map. He's got a huge supply lead, which is uh, very common uh, for this kind of a build. And Dark Force actually... He's made. He's like over. He's made too many overlords, actually. Uh, so he's and he's got a ton of spine crawls coming up. He knows that these roaches are coming, and there's banelings are not going to save him from this. But six nudos on the production tab. Will this be enough for Chef to break Dark Horse? We're gonna have to find out. Chef will begin here now with all of his, all of his roaches, but they're taking heavy damage from all those spine crawlers, and it looks like Chef isn't gonna be able to really do much here. Although he still has about eight uh, roaches, they're gonna actually back off. So, the combination of wasted banelings and, and hits from those spine crawlers is going to cause Sheth to... He's going to come over, he, he sees that the third base is no longer in production, so he's going to back off here. But now he's going to defend against these mutilists, which are going to be able to have free reign. They're going to start picking off s some of these uh, roaches. And what's Sheth going to be doing back home to prepare for this? I don't see any spore crawlers, so he's actually throwing down the hydrolisk. No, no, that's a layer. He, d he doesn't have a, a layer out yet, so he actually has to throw that down. And I don't know what Sheth's going to do here. He's going to have to defend this with Queens. So he's going to be using his Queens to defend. And this is going to be tough because now Dark Force has the mobility advantage. The supplies have evened up. And Sheth even getting supply block now. So this could be tough. Sheth uh, with a decisive tech disadvantage. He's going to be moving in here with a bunch of Zerglings. And he will find no third base once again from Dark Force. Dark Force just actually hanging back here. He should be harassing uh, this mineral line, but it's actually a lot of queens. I guess Sheth can defend just with his four queens. And uh, Dark Force, he's still only using these uh, six mutalists, not continuing to produce more. Uh, he doesn't actually have all that much gas in production. He wants. To, looks like he wants to tech up to his own roaches. And what you 
you can actually do in this case is just use these, these uh, mutilists to deny overlord scouting to take map control and then you'll be able to establish your own third base and get a larger roach infester army which is kind of the ultimate uh, the ultimate thing to do in this scenario so Sheth, did he throw down an infestation pit? no? 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 no infestation pit? I'm kind of curious what is he doing? How's he going to respond to this? I guess he's playing it pretty safe because he saw, he saw six mutos. He doesn't want to overreact to that. He's going to come in here and oh no! All the Zerglings are going to get killed off it looks like. But this will tell Chef that uh, Dark Force is going for a third base so that bit of information uh, is still pretty good. Dark Force continuing to scatter around with maybe one mutos. I guess this guy was misrallied. And he's going to come in here but not going to be able to do much with all these roaches sitting there with just uh, with just zerglings. Now Dark Forest looks like he maybe wants to harass with these mutilists somehow. Or he's just going to sit them outside of his base. We'll have to see what he decides to do. There's the infestation pit from Sheth. I was wondering where that was. So Sheth obviously going for uh, Roach Fester. He's working on plus two attacks. Meanwhile, Dark Forest is getting Roach Speed and He's getting upgrades for his own infestors, and he's working on making six of them. So those six infestors will be popping uh, with the pathogen glands upgrade, which will give them extra energy for fungal growths. You guys remember when the, Kada the Kadarian amulet upgrade was still in? You could uh, insta-storm. You could warp in a high Templar and storm immediately. Yeah. Now Zerg is the Ember race. <laughs> So Sheth's trying to get his own third base up, but Dark Force is already starting to saturate his zone with a bunch of spine crawlers in there. But one thing that Sheth does have going for him at this moment is that he has a bunch more roaches. And he also has a superior upgrade on his roaches. Whereas Dark Force is, has been utilizing the mutilus transition uh, to gain map control, get a faster third. Uh, so there might be a timing window coming up here pretty shortly with plus two plus two where Sheth can uh, move in and, and maybe do some damage. We'll have to see what he wants to do in this case. Um, now that this is, we're starting to get into more or less late game Zerg versus Zerg. And uh, Dark Force, I think he's using these Mutalisks pretty wisely. What a lot of Zergs will do is they'll transition to Muta and they'll just go all out Mutalisks. Uh, which can get shut down by Infestors or Hydras or both. And Dark Force is just using these to scout and take map control and he's being very annoying. He's, get, he's grabbing a bunch of kills here with these. So a nice, nice use of Mutalist uh, by Chef. And oh no, a Fungal Growth is going to land right down on all of these. And it looks like he's going to lose all of these Mutalists. So Chef uh, getting his, his own Infestors out right at a good time. Chef. Okay. I think he was attacking his own layer there for a second. But anyway, Chef uh, nicely holding that off. He does lose a bunch of drones though, which is going to hurt his economy. And there's already a deficit. Uh, right now, Dark Force is ahead in supply by almost 40 supply, and he's taking a fourth base behind this. So, wow, the fabled fourth base in, in Zerg vs. Zerg, you almost never see it, but here we have it. Um, and Chef uh, continuing to get pour on the upgrades. Uh, Dark Force is now producing 14 roaches. Looks like he wants to move out. Chef is going for the hive. I don't know how I feel about the hive at this point. Looks like he wants to go for Roach Hydra. And the only advantage he has is upgrades right now, which it is, I don't know if it'll be enough since the Infestors are really what kind of de can determine uh, the outcome of, of Zerg versus Zerg games like this. And Sheth now moving back across the map, realizing that the Mutas are not out anymore, so he's spreading his overlords back out. But now Dark Force is moving in here with a very scary force of roaches. Um, Sheth responding to this with more of his own roaches, which is good. Uh, and we'll have to see, uh, Dark Force actually splitting up his units, he's sending in about 8 to the natural Chef, and those are going to run into some Banelings, but that's not going to be enough. Meanwhile, Chef moving down here with a ton of his own roaches, but, oh, and a great fungal goes down on all of Dark Force's roaches, so Chef is going to be looking pretty good. Now that Dark Force is spending his own money, getting his infested Terrans out, but oh no, Chef is out of fungals and all these roaches which are very low on health are going to start working away at this third base, they're going to kill off a bunch of drones, but now Chef's coming in with his own roaches to try and kill them, great fungal down, going down for Dark Force, and it looks like Dark Force is just going to barely have enough to just, just kill Chef, so what a great, a great two-pronged attack by Dark Force, even though he's, his own roaches are dying very quickly to Chef's roaches, which are plus two, plus two, 
he was able to kind of weather uh, a few good fungals. He was able to get his own infested terrans up on the high ground, which allowed him to move into a good position and get the concave to take out the roaches and win a very, very good uh, Zerg versus Zerg against Liquid Sheth, who just uh, got his hive finished up uh, and was transitioning into Hydra. So very good game, well played by uh, Dark Force. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on Dark Force in the future. He's, he's pretty good. And the best thing that I liked about Dark Force from that game was using six Mutalists to gain map control. And that was really what swung the tide in his favor. Even though Sheth had two really nice early attacks, uh, Dark Force was able to come back from that, use Mutalisks to gain map control and to harass his opponent, but not go overboard with them. And uh, he was able to set it up so that he takes uh, the game. So uh, really good Zerg versus Zerg. We can see this is a matchup that's evolving. And I uh, hope to see more really good games like this in the future. So if you guys like this video, give me a like, uh, give me a share, send it to all your friends and family and relatives. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.